today we are showing how the Keen 7S stroller wagon does at the beach. So this was a video request. I had someone wanting to see how the regular stock wheels with the Keen 7S stroller wagon can perform at the beach. So this is the Pacific Northwest, so we mostly have rocks and some hard wet packed sand. But we are starting out with Abel, he's 20 pounds, and the beach wheels. I wanted you to see both sides of this story. The trick to the beach wheels is to always have the large wheels going first, whether you're pushing or pulling. If you're pushing, you'd be standing at the other end with the small wheels. Now the small wheels that come with the beach wheels, they don't lock, so they always swivel, which is the reason it's the best to have the big wheels first, because then you can really control the steering. As you can see, if you're pushing, those front wheels really don't want to listen to what you're wanting. So I think that if you're going to have those big wheels first, you're going to have the best experience. These large beach wheels really do a good job at cushioning more of the harder jolts. You'll see later on with the regular wheels that it's a little bit more bumpy. Since I don't have this soft, gorgeous, beautiful sand here in the Pacific Northwest, I'm using a video submission from the Keens Queens Facebook group. She's out in California and she's loving her beach wheels out at the beach. She's got one kiddo riding and as you can see it's a very smooth ride with one hand. She's pulling it with the small wheels first and it's doing pretty great. I would definitely for sure get the beach wheels if you have sand like this and not just the gravel that I have. So now I'm moving on to my regular wheels on the rocky area of the beach. I have my front wheels locked so they don't swivel and the push is actually very decent. I can push or pull it with no problems and it still steers all right. So now I'm a little bit further out, closer to the water and this is wet packed sand. I'm still using my regular wheels with the front ones locked. I still just got the one kiddo riding and it's actually a really smooth push. I'm having no issues pushing this with one hand. If it was fully loaded I'd probably need two but I can still turn with the front wheels locked. It's just a wider gradual turn. It's not too bumpy for the baby. He seems to be enjoying himself. These wheels are okay for hard wet packed sand but they are pretty dirty. So these are still the regular wheels. I'm going over some water and the muddy kind of gross stuff that happens at low tide. And I left a pretty good dent in the mud but I was able to push through easily and then up onto the gravel with no problems. It is really bumpy for the baby as you can see him jolting around so I think the beach wheels would be better for this. This is my final view of the regular stock wheels that come with your Keen 7S stroller wagon. As you can see, it does handle pretty well over this sort of terrain, but I do think that the beach wheels absorb more of the shock, and they would be useful even for going to playgrounds and to trails. I wouldn't be trying to hop any tree logs or anything with them, but they would do nice over uneven terrain just to kind of protect your little rider in there. So now that I've had to clean both sets of wheels, I'm going to go over what I found. I have the regular wheels on the right, the beach wheels on the left, and these are both the front swivel wheels. The beach wheel came clean very easily with minimal effort, but the regular swivel wheel had a whole bunch of sand packed up under here where the brake is, and that wasn't fun to get out, and I wouldn't want to see you having your regular wheels damaged because of packed in sand. So the beach wheels are definitely a good buy.